This Sunday's protest is being billed as a march for the new Belarus. Organisers are hoping to get at least as many people out into the streets as there were at last Sunday's record-breaking protests. The police, though, seem to be making more of an effort to deter them than they did last week. There have been roadblocks at the entrance to the city, and although the city centre is not sealed off, there are police out in force, and they did ask demonstrators who were gathering on Independence Square in the centre of Minsk to disperse. They have not, and more people are converging on that square with demands that have evolved slightly over the past few days. Now, in addition to the release of all political prisoners and the departure of President Alexander Lukashenko, they are demanding that those responsible for the appalling police brutality seen in the immediate aftermath of the August 9th election be arrested and put on trial. This as news emerged that another protester has died, Nikita Krivtsov, 28 years old was found his body was found in a woodland in Minsk after having been missing since August the 12th his family say that the authorities are denying that there are traces of beatings on his body but that they won't let them or their lawyers examine it there are many other people missing and a lot of their relatives fear the worst fear that there could be many more victims uh, since this protest movement began Alexander Lukashenko has been playing that down saying that those missing people many of them at least are just on holiday. They just left the country. And at the same time, Belarus's defence minister expressed concern that the police brutality could be used as an excuse for Western countries to intervene in Belarus. He didn't say this by way of expressing any kind of contrition, but simply as a means of adding more credence to the line that the authorities have been pushing for days now, which is that this is actually all about Western meddling in Belarus and that even potential Western military action could be coming. Alexander Lukashenko has put Belarus's army on high alert on the country's western borders and is claiming that there is heightened NATO activity in that area. NATO absolutely denies that there is any such activity or that it has any such intentions.